We should honor these movements and that history. And we should honor our commitment to the principles that say we must hold our friends to the same standards as we hold our adversaries. I understand and appreciate the bipartisan nature and history of this committee. In fact, there are two pill bills today that I am co-sponsoring with Republicans. And I have co-sponsored the Sri Lankan resolution with Mr. Johnson, Ms. Johnson and the resolution with Mr. Zeldin. I am also proud to sponsor Mr. Lowenthal's resolution that we just voted on and, incur and excited that every single person was on board on our side. I will not be supporting the end block package today. Mr. Chairman, I thank you and I yield back. Gentlewoman, gentlewoman yields back. Uh, Mr. Zeldin is recognized for five minutes. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I appreciate you bringing this on block up today. I, I fully support, uh, support this, uh, and it's important for me to point out a few things. As, the, as my colleague who, who just spoke uh, used the frequent use of the words uh, honestly and honest, uh, let's just get to uh, a lot of what's uh, left out. Uh, so the BDS movement has not distanced itself from Hamas, a designated foreign terrorist organization. BDS supporters individually are not distancing themselves from uh, Hamas either. Uh, it, it is wrong to be blaming all Israeli and Palestinian violence, quote, uh, as being uh, due to an occupation. Uh, last Friday, Fatih Hamad, a senior Hamas official, called upon Palestinians worldwide to yeah. kill all Jews. This is senior Hamas official just before the weekend. During a closed meeting in October 2017 between Hamas chief uh, Sinwar and Ga Gazan youth about reconciling with the Fatah movement, Sinwar stated that the time spent discussing recognition of Israel is over and now Hamas will instead discuss when they will wipe Israel out. Hamas uses women and children as human shields. They declare jihad uh, as an obligation. They deny humanitarian aid to their own people. They deny human rights. Launching rockets from Gaza into Israel, killing innocent civilians. Tens of thousands of rockets in Lebanon being launched by, ready to be launched by Hezbollah. Existential threats to Israel all around it. Our greatest ally in the Middle East. One, that there's been a historic relationship between our two nations, a beacon of hope and freedom and liberty in a region of the world that is filled with challenges. We want to be neutral arbiters. Let's not deny our right and our, and our duty to also be honest brokers, to spend an, you know, an entire time in, in justifying opposition to HRES 246, based off of everything that's wrong is all due to the Israeli occupation. Why not point out the fact that in 2008, Israel offered to withdraw from 93% of Judea and Samaria in the West Bank? Or what about our students on college campuses right now from coast to coast being targeted with blatant anti-Semitism in the name of BDS? Or taking into consideration the, the founder of BDS and all of his blatant anti-Semitism? Or the... Re, or the Palestinian authorities pay to, pay to slay. They financially reward terrorism. They treat you to a state funeral. They will rename football stadiums after you. We want to use honest and honesty in our remarks. We'll give you a whole lot more honesty. Every year Hamas mobilizes Palestinians in their days of rage to attack Israelis at their border, calling them to throw rocks and fire missiles at Israel, often results in actual violence. Hamas uses incendiary kites and balloons, which has destroyed some 8,000 acres of Israeli farms, parks, and forests. And I was pointing out, just last Friday, a senior Hamas official called for the murder of every Jew in the world. And you want to oppose HRES 246 under the justification that all the violence is due to an Israeli occupation with no honesty as it relates to any of the violence targeting innocent...